Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be attempting the EA restrictions build challenge. So if you ever watch like Little Simsy's videos, which is where I originally seen this ad, it's not necessarily any like set, you know, restrictions in the game necessarily, but basically what you'll go through and do if you try this, you can only keep the same amount of items within the home. So if I delete something, then I can replace it with something else. But I think with this challenge, my biggest issue was spending all the money somehow. Because I did go through, I made quite a bit of upgrades. I changed paint, things like that. But at the very end of this video, I somehow still ended up with like six dollars left over and maybe it's technically me failing the whole restriction challenge but I just could not think of something else that I could possibly delete and then replace. I tried to do it with a few items but I just could never get it down exactly to zero so not for sure what happened there but this challenge is actually really fun. As soon as I had seen this house, I knew it needed to be renovated. But typically if I renovate like the normal EA homes that are in the game, I usually just go like way too outlandish sometimes with it. So I wanted to try the EA restriction and see what we could do here in the home. So I did have to go through, I made the home smaller, which I know it's one of like Kayla's first things that she does is make the home smaller. But in all honesty, this home is like way too long for its own good to be quite honest. And even the upstairs rooms as well, like the main bedroom, it was just ridiculous. There's absolutely nothing pretty much in these rooms. There's a little sad kids room downstairs and it's still not the greatest thing in the world. Now, to be fair, I did make just like a few minor tweaks with some of the furniture that I kept from the home itself. So I did go through and like do recolors on them, which I think that's still realistic. I mean, if you're going to go through and maybe renovate your home, you might reupholster something. You might, you know, stain some of the wood and recolor and like whatever. So I, I thought that was still within guidelines. It's not like I was taking it out and then you know, trying something completely different. So <laughs> I tried my best. This was so difficult though. I'm not gonna lie. The home still doesn't look the greatest, I'm sure, but it is a bit of an improvement at least, I would say, from what we originally had in the home. Cause this sad, this sad, sad little house, I'm telling you. And like thinking about it now as well, kind of looking back at the home, is that there was more of a like kids kind of room. But if I'm not mistaken, the family that lives here currently is like all young adults. I think one might be a teen, but <laughs> the room definitely, I even when I went back into it, I made it more of a kids kind of room. So you'll see I put in like the cute little dinosaur wallpaper, which I mean, no shade. I would totally have that still. I like dinosaurs. So I just tried tried to keep the concept the same as before but it was um weird I'm, I'm gonna say that much it was a weird layout because obviously we just have this one really long home so it's kind of you know questionable as to where to put the kitchen so I did keep it in the same space as before but I tried to separate the walls off now, I'm not even for sure, because um, I went through and deleted all of the curtains within this home, and I didn't add any more. I just kind of used it to be able to put in more objects. I may have miscounted. I'm not 100% sure. may have miscounted. Maybe that's why I have, like, some extra money left over, but <laughs> this was my first time trying to do this, so... It was my best effort, at least. I do want to try this again, though. This was really fun to be able to do. So if you, you know, are interested in trying this challenge, I highly suggest it. Like I said, it's not too difficult. I mean, you literally could just move all of the items out of the home that you're using into your inventory. 
And then if you don't want to use that item, repurpose it, whatever in the home, you could always delete it and then find something that you actually want to use that's within your budget and then put it in the home. I thought that was the easiest approach. I started to go through originally and actually delete items. And then like, I realized I'm going to sit here and lose track if I actually go through and like try to remember the number instead of just keeping the inventory and then swapping stuff out. But that is pretty much everything for this build. You can see here that I'm still trying to figure out the whole kitchen <laughs> aspect. Um, now with the home as well though, um, I realized afterwards there was like no desk whatsoever in the home. So I do end up throwing that in last minute because the fact that there's literally like no activities, hobbies, things like that. Um, I did eventually throw in a chess table as well on one of the outdoor patio spaces. And one thing that you'll see as well, I thought was kind of cute. I probably should have done it like on all the patio areas that we have here was adding in a fan for some reason. I don't know. I had this whole like Southern feel in my head when I seen the front part of the home. I know from where I'm at, <laughs> anywhere you go, basically, if you have like a little wraparound porch or something on your home, there's a fan out there. Like no matter what, I think it is more of like a Southern style, but I don't think I did that on every single one. I'm pretty sure I just did on the upstairs one, but other than that though, that's basically everything here in this build. I hope you did enjoy watching this. Um, if you do have any suggestions on future videos, of course, leave me a comment down below. Now we do have Eco Lifestyle coming out very, very soon, as well as the update, which means we're going to have ladders to play with finally. So I'm so excited about that. Uh, but be sure to leave me a like. Of course, subscribe if you did enjoy watching this content and hit the notification bell so you know whenever I do get another video out. Other than that though, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.